Today was the release of the canon Star Wars book, Rebel Files, that details various things about the Rebel Alliance and their progression throughout the Star Wars universe and over the original trilogy during the Rebel series as well. The book basically highlights major events for the Rebel Alliance. In the book, we learn a whole lot about the Alliance including interesting tidbits like the Rebel Alliance was only on Hoth for a single month, as well as the fact that the Empire put out a bounty for Leia in the scale of 10 million credits after the first Death Star was destroyed and she was publicly outed as a Rebel spy. In this video though, I wanted to touch on something that is mentioned in the book and a piece of new canon that may surprise a lot of people. As the book explains, after the events of Empire Strikes Back, Luke Skywalker took a leave of absence from the Rebel Alliance and instead scoured the galaxy for Jedi lore. During this time, Luke himself no longer considered himself a Rebel and the Rebel Alliance could not look to him for help. It is revealed in the book that Luke only returns to the Rebel Alliance after he receives word that they have discovered where Han Solo is after he has been frozen in Carbonite. It is only from Leia directly asking for Luke's help that he decides to return to the Rebellion and finish what he started. What is awesome about this is we actually have a pretty good idea as to what Luke was up to during this time after he left the Rebellion, as he left the Alliance to contemplate his heritage as well as seek out other teachers in the Force other than Yoda or Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan. As we know, Luke discovered several Jedi temples over his long journey. This book basically confirms that Luke started his journey looking for Jedi temples and searching for ancient Jedi lore after Empire Strikes Back, almost immediately after that is. Luke also took this time to ensure that he truly wished to become a Jedi Knight, as it was revealed to him that both Yoda and Obi-Wan had lied to him about his heritage. This is another reason why Luke sought out alternate teachers during this period of time. Luke wanted to ensure that the Jedi path was the correct one. But that is the new information that the book revealed to us about Luke Skywalker and what he was up to between the events of Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Keep in mind that the time period of Empire and Jedi is only a year apart, so it makes sense that Luke would want to take this time to learn more of the Jedi way and prepare to fight Vader as well as the Emperor. I thought the fact that he left the Rebellion for this time was an interesting addition to the Star Wars canon and was worth a video. As always though, I would love to hear your thoughts on this. What do you guys think about the fact that Luke actually left the Rebellion for a short period of time after Empire Strikes Back and do you like this addition to Star Wars canon? May the Force be with you and have a great day.